Green Valley, so expect rain and storms and cloud cover once again across the region, which is going to allow those temperatures to not be that hot. So getting a closer look at our highs for today, they'll be scattered, which is normal for the kind of weather conditions we're expected for today. The high for Browns is going to be 91, West to go 90, Rio Grande City as well, and Roma 88. Now let's go ahead and track out the rain and storms for today and the next couple days because remember those rain chances will be sticking around. So rain and storms have already entered Cameron County and soon as we head toward the mid morning hours and the afternoon, the rain and storms will become widespread and enter the mid valley. Now we could see pockets of heavy rainfall and some storms can produce thunder, lightning, gusty winds, but just general thunderstorms are expected. And then later on tonight, we're still going to have some rain and showers or some rain and storms rather lingering within the region, but it's not going to be until early Thursday where things become a little bit more widespread. So give yourself some extra time in the morning on Thursday and remember to pack the rain gear and keep it handy for these next couple days since we're still going to have those rain chances as we head toward the weekend. However, slightly lower rain chances are expected for tomorrow and Friday, but remember conditions are going to be a little widespread and it won't be until the weekend where those rain chances really decrease and as we head into this upcoming work week as well. So as far as rainfall totals go, well, within the next uh, five days, we could see anywhere from one to two inches. It slightly changed as opposed to the last hour. We saw areas receiving four inches, especially in the lower valley. However, remember, localized higher totals could be possible as well. And this is within the next five days. This is not within the next day or two. This is for five days and the weather prediction center has everyone across the Rio Grande Valley in a level one out of four marginal risk for excessive rain. So just be careful in areas that are prone to flooding, low lining areas and some pondering out there. And remember, drive on the slower end, especially if you get caught in a downpour because roads can be slick and visibility could be reduced as well. And take a look at those rain chances for the weekend. They're a little bit lower than today and for tomorrow. And then eventually we'll dry out as we head into next work week and those temperatures will warm back up into the mid 90s.